We're now going to hear another story of sacrifice, um, and it's the Aboriginal story. Harold West and George Leonard were brothers, not by blood, but by community and culture. They were both born in Kunnamulla in Western Queensland and grew up learning about country, laws, and all other aspects of Aboriginal culture. Together, they also decided to enlist in World War II on the 23rd of August, 1941, as reinforcements for the 2nd 1st Battalion. Growing up, they were taught how to live <coughs> off the land and how to track, and eventually both became bushmen trackers and worked as station hands, ring barkers, and roustabouts. All of these skills, along with their ability to move in, invisibly through the bush, became assets for their battalion. <coughs> As you're about to hear, George and Harold were, bro were brothers until the very end. They used traditional Aboriginal knowledge to survive and save many lives in doing so. This song has been written by Caitlin Davies, a Barkindji woman, and Alex Whitty, both of Brighton Secondary School. Before embarking on the Kokoda Challenge, schools were asked to research soldiers who fought along the track. Caitlin, Alex, Harrison and David were in awe of Harold's courageous acts. And this song was born from the idea of wanting to have something to honour George and Harold that will always live on. The song is called Different Ways and highlights the courage, mateship and sacrifice that both Harold and George displayed along the Kokoda track. Katie and Alex, please get down. <coughs> I should say, Katie's been fighting a cold the last week and has got this cough, but she'll get through. He was just young when they came around Asking for men who were strong and proud Who would defend their country till the end What he didn't know is that he didn't fit The mold they said a soldier should be in Black skin wasn't what they wanted Training started, things got hard, and he wondered if he'd done the right thing. Left his family broken hearted, his heart has hurt from the day they parted. Why was he fighting someone else's war? But he stood tall and proud. day might come when he wouldn't make it out that he was strong and brave and he used his knowledge of the old ways and at the end of the day his skin was still the same George was shot and he was killed at Eora Creek, his blood was spilled. Harold West vowed to avenge his brother's death. And he stood tall and proud. And he knew the day might come when he wouldn't make it. Street. 
Oh. 